Tonight, Black Lives Matter Utah peacefully demonstrated at Salt Lake Police Headquarters in the wake of the latest police shooting deaths. It comes just before closing arguments in the murder trial of former officer Derek Chauvin. Fox 13's Lauren Steinbrecher was at tonight's protest with why they say what's happening across the country hits close to home. Lauren. Yeah, Bob and Kelly, there has been a lot going on this week for them to follow. Of course, that trial that you just mentioned, uh, which is going to be wrapping up here next week. On top of that, there was another police shooting where the department claims the officer mistook her gun for her taser. And so the activists and protesters here today tell me there is a lot of emotion, a lot of rage, a lot of frustration this week that they had to get out just like they've done many times before. A group gathers in front of the Salt Lake City Public Safety Building with chants they've repeated many times before. Reciting names they've spoken many times before of those killed by police, some here in Utah, like Brian Valencia, others across the country, like George Floyd. Even though it's so far away physically, it is he could be my brother, you know, it, 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 I, that's how I feel. I feel like that's how every black person feels like this could be a family member, this could be my friend, this could be, so it, it, it's, it hits home very closely. This time, there's a new name. All this anger and emotion that uh, has been bubbling up. And then the murder of um, Dante Wright, yes. I think that just really threw people off, you know? Again, like same time, kind of the same time last year, the murder of George Floyd. Dante Wright was killed by a police officer in Minnesota on Sunday. She mistaked her taser for her gun. On the same week of the murder trial for former officer Derek Chauvin in George Floyd's death. Salt Lake City officers step outside briefly, but mostly watch through the windows as Black Lives Matter Utah sends a message. We shouldn't have just like they have many times before. So I think having this protest today allows people to come here, allows people to feel that community, feel, you know, everyone's on the same page. We're all frustrated. We all want justice. Out during that protest today, as everybody was here in front of the public safety building, there was a group that gathered across the street, a group of men who were armed with bulletproof vests who appeared to be watching the protesters. The protesters kept an eye on them back. Eventually, that group left. In Salt Lake City, Lauren Steinbrecher, Fox 13 News, Utah.